Kafala is the system whereby foreign workers need permission from their employers for almost everything, from leaving the country on vacation to buying a car, opening a bank account, and even renting a house. What Qatari officials say is about to change. The moment we cancel the sponsorship system, we also cancel the requirement for exit permits from employers. When it comes to employers withholding workers' passports, this will be illegal and the penalty will be 50,000 riyals. During a press conference on Wednesday, Qatari officials said the kafala system may be replaced with a system based on employment contracts. Reforms mean foreign workers might not have to get their employer's consent before leaving Qatar. Bigger fines could be handed to employers if they confiscate the passports of foreign workers. And to make it easier to change jobs, foreign workers might not need permission from their previous employer. However, observers say the announcement was short on specifics and did not completely free workers from the control of their employers. It still appears from this that a migrant worker needs the permission of their employer to move jobs you know, for the duration of their contract, which may be up to five years, it's, it sounds like. Uh, and also, the, the employer still may retain some kind of right to object to the worker leaving the country, which we think is completely illegitimate. You know, the, the government should simply abolish the exit permit, which is a blatant human rights violation. Qatar's economic development depends on over one million migrant workers. Some of those we spoke to expressed genuine excitement on hearing the news. Yeah, I think it's uh, very good for us, uh, for uh, expatriates. Really? Yeah, so we can uh, travel uh, without exit permit. Very nice, 100%. We'll be very, very happy to see this happen. Qatar says the reforms will need approval by the country's Consultative Council and Chamber of Commerce before they become law. If passed, they may set a precedent in the Gulf region where millions of migrant workers allegedly live in abject conditions under the kafala system. Mohamed Van, Al Jazeera.